How did humans survive with dinosaurs? Have you ever wondered how humans managed to survive alongside giant creatures that roamed the Earth millions of years ago? How did our ancestors coexist with creatures that were up to 100 feet long and weighed over 100 tons? Did they hide, fight, or evolve to adapt to their environment? Join us as we delve into the mystery of human survival alongside dinosaurs. We'll be exploring theories and evidence that may provide insight into this question. From the possibility of a catastrophic event wiping out the dinosaurs to the theory of early humans evolving to adapt to their environment. Are you ready to uncover the truth? Tune in now and discover the incredible story of human survival. The theory of evolution, which states that species evolve through natural selection, is not considered in this discussion. Instead, we will look at our other theories and evidence that may provide insight into this question. One of the most popular theories scientists have proposed is that a catastrophic event, such as a meteor impact, wiped out the dinosaurs and allowed for the emergence of mammals, including early humans. This theory is supported by the discovery of a massive crater in Mexico, the Chicxulub Crater. It's thought to have been caused by a meteor impact about 65 million years ago. This impact would have caused massive wildfires, tsunamis, and global climate change that would have been devastating to the dinosaurs. In contrast, mammals would have survived due to their small size and ability to adapt to changing environments. This argument is backed by the observation that there was a sharp drop in the diversity of dinosaur species following the meteor impact. In contrast, new species emerged better suited to the new environment. It's crucial to remember that not all scientists concur with this theory. And there are other theories for the demise of the dinosaurs, such as protracted volcanic activity or disease. Another theory suggests that humans and dinosaurs may have coexisted, but were able to avoid each other due to their different habitats and lifestyles. For example, early humans may have lived in areas unsuitable for dinosaurs, such as dense forests or mountainous regions. Additionally, early humans may have been able to avoid dinosaurs by hunting during the day, while dinosaurs were mostly active at night. The fact that early humans were migratory and lived in small groups lends credence to this argument because it suggests that they might have moved to new locations to avoid danger. Early humans and dinosaurs also had different food sources, which would have allowed them to coexist without competition. For example, early humans may have relied on fruits, vegetables, and small animals for food, while dinosaurs were mainly carnivorous or herbivorous and relied on larger animals or plants. Furthermore, it's also possible that early humans could use their intelligence and problem-solving abilities to avoid the dinosaurs, such as using natural barriers or creating hiding spots to evade them. Another possibility is that early humans could survive by using tools and weapons. It's believed that early humans could make and use tools as early as 2.5 million years ago. This would have given them an advantage over the dinosaurs, who may have needed to be more adaptable and intelligent. Early humans may have been able to use weapons such as spears and bows and arrows to defend themselves against dinosaurs. Since early people created fire, this theory is validated, which would have allowed them to cook food stay warm, and use fire as a weapon to fend off predators. The ability to use tools and weapons would have also allowed early humans to hunt for food more efficiently, which would have increased their chances of survival. Furthermore, early humans may have been able to use their tools to create defensive structures, such as fortifications to protect themselves from the dinosaurs. Another theory suggests that early humans evolved to adapt to their environment. 
which may have allowed them to survive alongside dinosaurs. For example, early humans may have evolved to walk upright, which would have allowed them to see over tall grass and avoid dinosaurs. Additionally, early humans may have evolved to have larger brains, which would have allowed them to think and plan, giving them an advantage over dinosaurs. The fact that early humans could employ tools and weapons lends credence to this argument, which would have required advanced cognitive abilities. The ability to walk upright also allowed early humans to cover more ground efficiently and quickly, increasing their chances of survival. Furthermore, the larger brain would have allowed early humans to develop language, communication, and social structures, which would have increased their chances of survival. The ability to create and use tools would have also allowed early humans to build shelters, protecting them from harsh conditions and dangerous dinosaurs. Additionally, early humans may have evolved to have better senses, such as improved vision or hearing, which would have allowed them to detect and avoid dinosaurs more efficiently. Finally, early humans and dinosaurs lived in different periods and never had the opportunity to interact. While dinosaurs lived during the Mesozoic era, which lasted from 252 to 66 million years ago, early humans only appeared during the Quaternary period, which began around 2.58 million years ago. This means that early humans and dinosaurs could have lived on Earth simultaneously but in different eras. The absence of direct evidence of early human and dinosaur connection, such as petrified remains or cave paintings, lends weight to this view. However, it's important to note that this theory has challenges and criticisms. For example, early humans and dinosaurs may have lived in different regions and never had the opportunity to cross paths. Additionally, there is evidence that early humans could migrate and travel long distances, which would have increased the chances of interaction with dinosaurs. Furthermore, early humans and dinosaurs may have had limited interactions, such as early humans scavenging on dinosaur remains without ever coming into direct contact. It's also important to note that not all dinosaurs were the same and some may have been more of a threat to early humans than others. For example, herbivorous dinosaurs such as Stegosaurus or Triceratops may not have posed as much of a threat as carnivorous dinosaurs such as T. rex or Velociraptor. Additionally, some dinosaurs may have lived in different regions, such as the giant sauropods in the lush swamps, while early humans lived in the dry savannas. Early humans were able to coexist with some dinosaurs while avoiding others. The early humans may have been able to coexist with the herbivorous dinosaurs while avoiding the carnivorous dinosaurs. Furthermore, it's important to note that some dinosaurs may have been more docile and less aggressive than others, making them less of a threat to early humans. For example, the Diplodocus, a sauropod, may have been less of a threat than the T-Rex, a carnivorous theropod. The theory that early humans and dinosaurs coexisted but did not have any direct interaction is based on the lack of evidence for such interaction. This theory suggests that early humans and dinosaurs may have lived in different parts of the world and never had the opportunity to cross paths. For example, early humans may have lived in Africa while dinosaurs lived in Asia or North America. The absence of direct evidence of early human and dinosaur connection such as petrified remains or cave paintings, lends weight to this view. However, this theory remains controversial and is not widely accepted by the scientific community. The widely accepted scientific theory is that dinosaurs went extinct around 65 million years ago, while the earliest human-like species, such as Homo habilis, appeared around 2.8 million years ago. Early humans and dinosaurs had limited interactions, such as early humans scavenging on dinosaur remains for food without ever coming into direct contact with the living creatures. Evidence supports this theory, as early humans were known to be scavengers, relying on the remains of dead animals for sustenance. Additionally, early humans may have also used dinosaur bones for tools and weapons, 
indicating that they were aware of their existence and may have had some knowledge of their biology and behavior without encountering the dinosaurs themselves. However, the scientific community is still researching and debating this issue. So, many theories and possibilities may explain how humans survived with dinosaurs. While we may never know for sure, exploring and considering the different possibilities is fascinating. The theories we've discussed today are just a few of the many hypotheses scientists have proposed to explain this mystery. It's important to remember that science constantly evolves, and discoveries may provide new insights into this ancient puzzle. In conclusion, there are several theories about how early humans survived alongside creatures up to 100 feet long and weighed over 100 tons. One theory suggests that a catastrophic event, such as a meteor impact, wiped out the dinosaurs and allowed the emergence of mammals, including early humans. Another theory suggests that humans and dinosaurs may have coexisted but were able to avoid each other due to their different habitats and lifestyles. Additionally, early humans may have survived by using tools and weapons. Another theory suggests that early humans evolved to adapt to their environment, which may have allowed them to survive alongside dinosaurs. It's important to note that not all scientists agree with these theories. And there may be other explanations for dinosaurs' extinction and early human survival. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos on the mysteries of the universe. See you next time.